Hello, my loves. Happy Friday. So I just got home from the mall and I wanted to do a really quick unboxing for you guys because I gotta go and run out the door but I thought why not turn on the camera and film an unboxing for you guys the bags that I just got um, LV please don't mind the mess in the back it's so freaking messy I'm like looking in the viewfinder it's so fucking messy in the back like just blur all of this out but anyways oh yes I am wearing a Backstreet Boys shirt because the Backstreet Boys concert was amazing if you guys watched that vlog it was so fun it's like the best concert I've ever been to so yeah anyways I got the cappuccines in the size small this is one of my dream bags and literally like my dream bag other than like a Hermes I've always wanted this cappuccines bag I just thought it was so overpriced for what it is which I think that many of you guys will probably think the same thing and many of my friends think the same thing as well but I've always wanted this bag for so long and I feel like it doesn't really matter if people say like it's an over it's overpriced or like it's a bad investment or anything like that but I feel like to me Personally, it's a classic and it's for myself, so I don't really care what anybody has to say. So yeah, this is the receipt right here. This is the box. I'm gonna unbox it really fast for you guys because we in a rush today. So yeah, this is the box. I'm gonna open it. And like, this is not even a magnetic box. Like, what the hell? It's just, oh, it is magnetic. Oh. This one's magnetic. I bought stuff from LV before and it's like not magnetic. So I was like, but why? So this is what the bag looks like in the dust bag here. It's right here. I want to open the receipt for you guys and show you guys um, the receipt and stuff. So you guys can obviously find the price online, but I'm just going to tell you guys how much it was because it doesn't really matter since uh, you guys can find it online and I'm not really hiding anything because it's, yeah. So it was about 6,500 Canadian. Um, it's probably cheaper USD because of the currency and wherever you are, like you can just search how much the bag is on the LV website. Um, it is kind of a lot and people, uh, some of my friends are like, why didn't you just buy another Chanel? But I'm like, I don't need another Chanel. And I really wanted an everyday bag and I feel like this matches me and I feel like just the way that it is and everything like that. So I'm gonna open it for you guys to take a look. Um, I feel like bags should just be your kind of style and kind of speaks to you who you are and kind of just who you are as a person like it doesn't matter like what people say if they don't like it because everybody in this world is gonna fucking have like 10 million opinions it matters what makes you happy and what you like so why get something to impress somebody else like just do what you want to do so this is that bag for me because so many disagreements on it and my friends but I don't really care so this is what it looks like and taking it out I love 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 that the bottom of the bag has like four um what is it called like foot things to yeah for the bag so that the bag just doesn't sit you know right on the table it sits like on this also this dust bag is like really good quality I don't know if they changed their dust bags but this one's really thick so yeah this is the bag looks like this um, it is the cappuccines. I think it's in the BB size because the MM size is a bit bigger. So this is what it looks like. It's black. It's nice leather. It's the top handle, but it also has a strap because I love my straps. However, I don't really wear the straps that often because unless I'm like traveling and I'm, you know, something like that. But the front here has like the LV. And if you don't want people to know that it's LV, you can just do this. And walk around like this so it's really cute and really versatile like i feel like it's black and it's like so cute and it's like, like a little i don't know and i feel like it can match like i i feel like if i'm gonna say like one more time i think that this bag can be dressed up or down which is something that i really like because there aren't many that many bags in the i don't know like in the in the trend right now where it can be like dressed down or up so and I, I also really loved that the inside was hot pink because that's just me like hot pink and this is what it looks like the pink hot pink if you guys can see it and it is gold hardware so I did debate a long time whether I should get the silver hardware or the gold which I really like the silver but they can't order it in anymore this bag um, they only had one in stock and in Canada so it was 
kind of like a sign like how can you not get it when it's only one left and I am from Canada like I said earlier and yeah the gold hardware is still pretty beautiful um, there was also the one I was debating between was a white one as well the white one was really pretty but I feel like for me white I would just probably get it really dirty and I wouldn't be able to clean it and then there was one black one with the python leather that I really liked as well but that one was double in price and I feel like the python for me I wouldn't wear as much or it wouldn't match as much with me personally my style is very simple it's very like normal I'm not anything like crazy colors which I wish I really wish I was one of those girls where I can dress up like in crazy colors and everything like that but I'm not so unfortunately I just like to stick with basic neutral colors so that's why my bags are quite boring and somebody actually told me that before like your bags are so boring the picks that you do is like white black like classic like normal but that's just who I am I don't feel like if I really could I would maybe have like a pink python bag in like a different color or something like that but I just don't really have that type of style I wish I did I'm at least a very simple person so this is what it looks like oh and then the strap is in here as well this is a strap but I probably won't be using the strap as often just because I feel like it would probably be better for traveling for the strap but I'm not really a strap kind of girl so I'm gonna put this away and I don't want to get it like ruined um I did try on with the strap in the store but I feel like it's not really me to be wearing it like everywhere with the strap so I just like it with the top handle like this and I'm wearing shorts right now but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like so this is what it looks like with my body. There's also a mini, but I think the mini like literally doesn't even fit your phone. So obviously you have to get something to fit your phone and my wallet. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, and there was a bigger size as well that I debated between. But, but that one was, I think, a little bit over like $2,000 more or something. And I was just not about to pay like two thousand dollars more for a bigger size i also really liked the bottom of this it kind of sold me as well i really like any bags that have like a bottom foot there is probably a name for this but i just don't know so yeah this is the bag you guys can do a three i'll do a 360 for you guys hopefully you guys can see this It's so gorgeous. The pink is so me. I feel like it's like, you know, oh, I'm dark and normal and classic on the outside and plain, but in the inside, I'm hot pink. So that's what this bag does for me. I feel like I feel like it's like really speaks to me because that's literally me. So yeah, this is what it looks like. If you guys are debating on getting it, please get it so we can match and be twins. And I like how the handle are like there's like circles like gold the gold detailing on this bag is really beautiful as well so and then there's like two compartments inside this is what it looks like closed by the way and then there's like two compartments inside there's like one on the left and then there's also a zipper which i really like so i don't know like are you guys one of those people who need a zipper to close a bag i kind of like it open like this but yeah i just have to be really careful so that nobody takes your shit so yeah, my new fave, seriously. I'm actually gonna start stuffing some things in it right now. So, oh, by the way, I don't know how this video turned in from an unboxing to a chapstick talk, but this chapstick is so good. I have it on the floor right now with me and it's like just amazing. I like how the inside as well, it kind of like, it's like a crepe, like it folds and it's just really cute. I love it. But yeah, let me know your guys' opinions on this, what you guys think about it. It's really cute and I feel like I'm just in love. So, all right guys, thank you so much for watching my unboxing video. I love you guys so much. Any opinions or anything like that, let me know. Watch the video where I bought it from as well. It's in my last vlog. You guys can see I went to buy it and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm gonna go now because I literally have to run. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in to watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!